On Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 26th, as the Lady Blue Devils face Langston University in uh, the Lincoln Classic. Make sure to come out Thursday, and if you're in town Friday as well, uh, the Lady Blue Devils will be playing Shawnee State. So the Thursday game is at 5. You know what time to tip off is Friday? 1 o'clock Friday. So we would appreciate your support there. Moving right along to our last update of the afternoon comes from none other than the Mike Newell, head coach of the Blue Devils basketball team. Coach? Thank you. I'd say it's, uh, losing doesn't get any easier, right? Because the last, that last game was pretty tough. I don't know uh, if y'all had a chance to, to watch it or not, but... Um, I'm sort of like Coach Rome in that one thing that I have noticed um, with the schedule, I think we played six games in 12 days. And, and what is bad about that is uh, I don't worry so much about the fatigue as being able to teach. You don't have time to correct what you, you know, what you uh, need to get corrected in your practice session. And then when we did have a chance last week uh, to do that, uh, we had uh, a problem over in the den with the lights. And we, so we <laughs> had two days in a row right at practice time. And so we didn't have a chance to do anything then. Uh, and uh, then we did the, the last day though. But uh, the game uh, Saturday, uh, well, William Carey was a, was a good game. Uh, I thought that uh, they, they got a good basketball team and I thought we played well, did a lot of good things. Uh, to come out on top. Uh, LSUS, they're ranked, but I wasn't that impressed with them. I, I just felt like we were flat. And, I, and part of it was uh, our guys are high energy anyway. I was very disappointed in the crowd Saturday. Yeah. 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 And, and so that, uh, to me, uh, and what our kids, they thrive off that group. And uh, uh, and that's not, the, I mean, we still had, I mean, the 47 seconds ago when we finally got the lead and rebounded the ball and we turned it over right there, going out of bounds, that was probably a key play in the game for Christian. But uh, uh, the other thing, too, is we, we're having trouble guarding people man to man. And we're getting, I mean, our best players are only playing 18, 20 minutes. And so as much as I hate to, uh, we're going to have to start playing some zone. Uh, I mean, I like playing zone, but I don't like doing it early uh, because uh, it just uh, I mean, you don't have to eventually play guard man to man to to win championship. And but we can't do it now without foul. And these are, and, the, and the new rules uh, are and they're I mean that's the way it's supposed to be played. I mean, they, I mean they're calling the way you know we just got to adjust uh, the uh, but the foul that tied the game when Ramon went out and helped on the screen and was moving his body and his arms up. They said, as long as you don't touch out there, then you're okay. And uh, But we got the call. Of course, they made two free throws to tie the game. And then we come down and, and have a bad possession. And then they end up making a uh, – getting fouled again uh, with two seconds to go at 1.7 uh, to win the game. Um, so – Free throws decided the game, basically. And uh, but we had all of our opportunities. You can't. Our guard play is absolutely horrendous. And uh, Ramon Johnson starting to come on, and you know he's going to be something uh, when he's you know as he get, as he gets more experience than that. And and, and him only being a sophomore, um, the, we did have Ty uh, Ty King was eligible. We finally got him to the clearing house. And he's going to be a he's going to be a factor for us. He didn't play very well the other day. He hadn't played for three years, and uh, he's you know first game he's rusty. Uh, but that does give us another big man. Hopefully we'll have uh, DJ back. That when you take away 15 points and 15 rebounds out of your lineup, uh, yeah, it's uh, and and he's one of those uh, raw raw type guys anyway. And uh, he did but, this yeah, yeah, and. Uh, but that's why you got to have depth, and uh, and I like you know I like our depth. Or you know we we need another recruiting class, obviously. 
this next one uh, to add on to what we have. But 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 we're I think we're going to be better off than most teams that, that we play. But I just didn't. Think, I mean, what did y'all think? I, I, LSUS didn't. I didn't think they played good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. I mean we shoot 13 percent. We shot just like we did against St. Thomas over in Houston. <laughs> we were one for 22, and then three for whatever uh, the other uh, Saturday, and uh, and they had uh, uh, you know they had one player that uh, number two was uh, you know that was a player, and then we didn't have anybody to guard. I think uh, the Philly seal for the team is the free throw. You yeah. gotta be, you gotta shoot better. I mean, well, I, I don't know right way. now. It's almost like a good defense. Yeah, we. Uh, well, and your guards are missing. Yeah, right. Like, we're yeah. wanted to do that. They wanted to get better free throw shooting. Uh, high Tower is 5 for 10. And, but, you know, that's something that I've mentioned before and even over here. Uh, you know, I, I have no idea what to do. I mean, you can make them shoot them. You know, uh, uh, Dennis has got to be better than what he showed. Uh, and he's not playing very well. From what, he, from what he was playing in August, and, and you know, and he's the type of kid who gets, when he does have a bad game, it, 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 he, he doesn't get inside his head any bit. And uh, he's got to get out of that. Dexter had a bad game, uh, and uh, he was 0 for 7. And uh, so, well, I mean, our guards were like uh, 3 out of 32. Now. And, uh, uh, and you just can't. And, and when when you do that, when you don't shoot the ball well, it, it's it's an ugly game. It just it gets ugly. Yeah, but when you don't shoot the ball well, I mean, you hear Ramon down low. He's working out down low. Oh, why not? Yeah. The team succeeded in the inside because they had number thirty-five. They had and number twenty-four was in foul trouble. But they did a lot of denying. I mean, I thought they did a good job of denying him. They got, and well, they, they, they were they were doubling and denying, and 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 that's something that our guards. Uh, the, the two things we've got to take advantage of you, Sam. In other words, you're right. Get it, get it inside as much as we can, and then get some dribble penetration and off our guards. Dennis is really the only one that gets it to the hole, and then uh, and then Dexter occasionally, uh, but Christian very seldom gets there. Uh, Houston is, I mean, uh, right now, I mean, he's he's in a funk. I mean, you know, I'm sure he's upset because you know he's not getting the minutes that he that he got before but uh he's better than what i think he's playing oh, and uh, uh, last position that we had i i thought instead of taking a three we should have either went to the hole because they're on a five is that when dimitri took the uh three <laughs> uh -huh. yeah i think he should have took the uh, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah they were on a five yeah yeah, yeah, and, and the beef for Cass, once again, uh, we have, uh, he's one of these kids that uh, we have things that we want to get accomplished on offense, and then he's got uh, a Dimitri play. No, that wasn't Dimitri, that was your, your point guard. What's your point guard name? Oh, 1.7 to go? Dennis, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, well, he shot a three in the last possession of the game, but the one before he shot a three with one point seven seconds ago. You're talking about the one before that. I think the one before the Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Which, uh, the score was tied. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, and and we wanted. To, I mean, we, we wanted to get inside. Obviously, uh, uh, Ramon shoots seventy percent from foul line too. I mean, he, he's good. He, yeah, he's a good shooter. And, uh, and it, you know, then Dimitri is another one. And, and he missed, right at the start of the second half, I bet he missed three straight point blank shots down low. Uh, I mean, he was two for 10 for the game. Anybody only played 19 minutes because he was in foul trouble. Right. Yeah. 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 And so, and I don't really, I'm not one of these coaches where if you get two fouls in the first half, you know, that you, some coaches automatically take them out. I don't believe in it. The thing is, and reason, over the years, as I've, I, I played by gut. And, and see, before I could get him out, he got his third foul. They posted him up down there. And he's got to understand that. I got Patrick to go in. But a lot of times, you like Demetri, he only played 19 minutes. But he, only, he, didn't, he didn't foul out. So my, my thought process is sometimes just play him. And, you know, because they're not doing any good setting down there. 
and uh, and particularly if, if he's one of your better players. Uh, but uh, uh, but yeah, we definitely uh, playing at home, get it to the hole, or get it inside. And we and we're starting to get better at that. Uh, but had I don't like taking kids out on negative things, particularly missed shots or uh, you know. But we've had to to teach them that look. You got to pay attention to the time and the score, and whether you're playing at home or on the road, on shot selection. And uh, and we've got some. Uh, I mean, not just one in particular. Dexter, Christian, uh, you're right down the line of of who you know one pass and a shot. And you know, and that doesn't make the defense move. And then once again, if you're playing with the rules, the way they don't call it, and they are calling it. Uh, I mean, I look at. Some of the college games, I mean, teams are shooting 15, 60 free throws. And uh, so, uh, uh, we, like I said, we're going we're gonna to look at playing some zone, at least trying to get through the first half where, where the kids can stay in the game offensively. But that's not typical of us. I mean, I mean, 63 points. I mean, that's two games now. We had, we had 76 at St. Thomas and 63 uh, Saturday. Uh, I think mean, we're averaging about 80, 80 something, 80, 86, 85, 86, something like that, and 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 not and not shooting the ball real well, and and, and certainly we're shooting 58 percent from foul line, and uh, but uh, uh, but I don't want to do free throws. I mean, I, I try not to. Bend, I mean, just you know, we shoot, we practice them, but I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, you just recruit. I mean, there's teams that won championship Syracuse the year they won. I mean, they they have free throw shooting team. You you have them, and uh, uh, but I this is certainly right now. But I know Dennis is better than what he's shooting. I think Christian Clark is better, and uh, I know Ramon can. Dimitri Dimitri shooting 78 percent, so he's okay. Uh, Ty still I don't know about him yet. He's only coaching one game. Uh, Dennis Reed, he's going to be at about 60. This would be my guess. So, any, any questions that uh, you might have? Anything that you saw? The, that, uh, but I just thought, you know, that, that's the flattest. I mean, that's we just didn't have any pizzazz. I mean, you know, it just it was like we're going out there getting ready to play a rec center team. You know how you go to the rec center and just pick up play pickup games and you got you know the girlfriends and the, the moms and the dads and the uncles up in the crowd we we just couldn't get it i mean it, it, uh, that's not an excuse because we talked to our kids and that's what we're going to get to is you know you've got to go out and play against the game and regardless if there's 50 people if there's five thousand it doesn't affect you one way or the other and, and you've got to learn how to play and it goes back to what i talked to you all about last week consistency and focus, and that's the hardest thing with a new group of kids or young men. And uh, and we're going to be. I mean, it's true. Uh, I, I look back, and you, you you don't like to look back, or I don't. But you know, uh, we're sitting here at five and two, and the two losses. Yeah, we. I mean, we lost. Them. I mean, they didn't beat us. And so you you know you can be seven and zero. Oh, and uh, of course, you know, uh, yes, but uh, but the good thing is at least we got, we're in a position where we're, we are, it's not like where the game's over at halftime or, you know, over the last 10 minutes, everybody's leaving out. Uh, but, uh, but we missed a great opportunity Saturday because they were ranked and, you know, when the polls, come out that'd be another victory over a ranked team for us and uh, but it didn't happen so now we get we got s next six games on the road so uh, and two of them against division ones and uh, <laughs> you, I think it's a guess and, and, and I changed it a little bit of, of they had us playing three games in, in three days uh, we were against Traveling here, coming back, we moved the ramp a little bit. But uh, the, the people who did it knew they weren't going to be here. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> so, 
but it is what it is. And uh, uh, the kids, um, I thought for the first time, a uh, little, little down, you know, a little disappointed. Uh, but that's a learning lesson. And then sometimes that's good to get hurt uh, where you, it hurts you to lose. And uh, so that's that's what we've got to uh, practice today at, at, at three, and and uh, we'll hopefully regroup and be ready to go back to go back to work. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and I guess next Monday will be the last one before we break for uh, for the break, right? Christmas break, and then we'll come back uh, in uh, January. So, but uh, thank everybody for coming out. All right.